Hello, CC Paul. Do I have a very special video for you today? We are going to be covering the macro higher term time frame for the swing trades here on the Bitcoin chart. I will, of course, be though covering the more smaller term time frame. In case you are one of the day traders out there, I will be giving you the next levels to be aware of locally, but mainly focusing on the more of the macro picture higher term time frame here, as well as that giving you some tips of understanding which style of trader you should be. Should you be on the lower term time frames looking for these quick moves, or actually should you be more of a swing trader uh, looking for the bigger picture and, and the higher term time frame perspective? So we've got a lot to go through, what can I say? <laughs> it might be a little bit of a longer video, but nevertheless, I truly just hope that this is beneficial for you. I hope that you really enjoy the video, learn a lot from it, and basically can continue to progress along, you know, maybe alongside me is not the right word, but alongside your, your virtual companeros, I can't remember the word in English, but your virtual companeros alongside you studying and learning every single day. So uh, yeah, imagine you're sat next to a big group of champions and you're all ready for this lesson today. Um, well, lesson or technical analysis, <laughs> I'm not sure the right word. But anyway, enough talking, let's just get into the charts. Um, so as mentioned, I want to start off here on a bit of a lower term time frame. So we'll just take a look here on the on the smaller picture that we got on here. Um, I want to actually talk very briefly uh, about this move to the downside here. Because, of course, at the time, uh, while we were trading up here, right, we had two levels to be aware of. And the NPOC, a very important one indeed. But what happened in the end, we really simply just traded straight through those levels. So even on a one-minute chart, those levels were traded straight through, traded straight through. And this is the style of trading that you understand, learn, and start to implement at Chart Champions. It's no longer a guessing game. It's no longer, there's a level, I'm gonna place a, an alert, or place a, sorry, an, an entry, so a limit order, and just hope for the best. You know, you're just gonna hope that that level holds. No, we're teaching the style of have a level in mind, understand the confluence, set the alert, so then when that alert goes off, you can check the reaction. What does it mean checking the reaction? It means coming over here onto software such as Atis, Exo, and looking at things such as the order flow, right? So for me, I'd be placing a great focus once that alert has gone off, looking at the volume, okay? I'd be looking at the CVD, the delta, some of the rec candles are helpful, you know, the open interest, buying and selling imbalances, you know, understanding the real data in front of my eyes, upon hitting a level. So it's no longer a case of just hoping for the best, setting alert at the NPOC and just hoping that it holds. Because hope doesn't work in trading, it can get you wrecked though. <laughs> what does work is waiting for the alert to go off, check the reaction, then take the trade. Okay, imagine if you've preset a limit order at either of those levels, you're instantly underwater. You know, you could look at it 10 seconds later upon entering and you're instantly down in monetary value. And that is not what you really want to be doing. Again, I understand some people are, you know, programmed to that style of trading. And I'm not trying to talk you out of it. If you enjoy that style of trading, it's fine. But for me, I like to set the alert, check the reaction. When we get no reaction, there's really simply no trade to be had. And we'll continue to look down for our next levels to the downside, right? So daily, no reaction, look for MPC. No reaction, MPC, look towards the weekly. So it's as simple as that. It's not difficult. It's just a style of trading that I'm programming you to understand. You know, <laughs> you know, years ago, you wouldn't have heard people saying level to level trading. Now, you know, chart champions popularized level to level trading. And now it is really the best way to trade. Check the reaction, take the trade after doing that. You know, we've popularized this and now <laughs> I'm here to do it even more <laughs> and make sure you understand that style because that is what I use. And um, yeah, in terms of the next levels here locally, before I move on to a more higher term time frame picture, of course, still below us, we have this zone of, of the weekly NPOC. So you can just record these levels and be aware of it, right? That's around 21,700. Um, and then above us, we have the bigger levels up here around 23,700, right? So we have 21,700, 23,700 of bigger outer boundaries. Then more locally on top of that range would be coming in at around, you know, 23,000, 22,950, that bit of a zone there. Uh, as you can see, this is going to this this level does skew somewhat the the um, zoom and view. So I am just going to temporarily, although this is a level, so you want to record it. I'm going to remove this temporarily, and you're going to see instantly how the zoom becomes a lot more better. 
Bam. <laughs> so yeah, they, they, those tools do sometimes skew the view. But what we have here more locally is just a simple range to be trading, right? So if for me, I don't need to be adding on this um, parallel channel because I can visually see it very clearly. But again, I understand we do have a lot of, you know, newer traders that, you know, need that. So I'll also add on this parallel channel here. We can see attaching it from the low on the 3rd of March up to the high that was put in on the 5th of March. And now here we have a sideways parallel channel to be trading. This is more for your scalper traders. <laughs> Again, if I pronounce that wrong or right, who cares? But this is for your lower term time frame traders, right? The scalp traders to the day traders. Um, this is a really nice levels to be trading. You have very well respected initially off the VWAP, right? This was such a perfect reaction. VWAP, you know, dropped down over 1% to the downside. Retest with some bullish divergences. You got your move back up. But it's overall formed the high of the range to the low of the range. And what I love about this is you can see the respect off the middle of the channel. Just look how lovely this middle of the channel here it was once again tested to the exact dollar before this little move to the upside. I just want to say personally, uh, I myself am now more of a swing trader. So I'm actually more interested in the higher term time frame, strong levels of confluence, where I can get into a trade and hold that trade for weeks to months at a time. I'm really interested in this higher term time frame perspective where I can just get in really strong levels and hold that trade and, and you know become more relaxed in that style of trading. Uh, I'm still as active as ever. <laughs> I'm still all day long on my computer, but it's just my style of trading has now changed. I have my eyes on more assets and I'm just, you know, taking an approach on Bitcoin at the moment. You know, I obviously know all styles. So if I if I want to, I can come back onto the lower term timeframes. But for me, I'm, I'm really happy and enjoying this swing trading style where I'm just more relaxed and patient for my bigger levels. So I personally am not actually trading this range here. But if you are a day trader, if you are a sculpt trader, then you, of course you have, you know, <laughs> the other coaches within side chart champions that are focused purely on the lower term timeframes and getting in on those micro moves. So, you know, if you like that style, then, you know, we can cater for you. But for myself, I'm personally more of a swing trader now. And thus, I'm not trading this lower term timeframe channel. And I'd actually like to see, well, either a short squeeze to the upside, right, where we can really get a some bigger levels to come into play, or we really simply just remain range bound here a little bit longer and come down and test some lower levels. So for me, I'm going to remain patient for, for those, um, you know, bigger for me levels and higher levels of confluence, stronger levels per se to come into play. But once again, if you enjoy the day trades, then there are trades to be had here off of this lower term time frame channel. You know, you look for SFBs, middle of the channel, start to build up the value areas in here. You know, there's definitely trades to be had. And I will say that if you want to, you know, be getting involved on those day trades, well, every single day there's a daily update on the website, right? And that is focused on your day traders, lower term time frame levels, giving you the setups of that day to come. You know, 9 a.m. daily update, we give you the levels, the setups of that day. For me, though, more of a swing trader. I'm going to be waiting for those higher term time frame levels. Uh, as mentioned, though, I do would like to focus a little bit more on the macro, you know, higher term time frame picture here. For that, I'm just going to temporarily hide these levels and we're going to take a look on the daily chart. OK, for me, with this bigger channel that we we got in play and are, are currently trading. And before I move on, this is, again, yeah, unfortunately, well, I don't know if it's unfortunate or not, but this is going to be a longer video. Uh, I'd like to just address very briefly the style of trader that you should be. For this, there's no right or wrong answer, right? It's a personal choice. So along with your <laughs> virtual compañeros, you are right now sitting alongside and thinking to yourself this, you know, how do you decide to be a lower term time frame trader? You know, looking and trading moves such as 0.2%, you know, in incredibly small percentage moves, but you're able to make profits from that if you're a good scalp trader. So do you want to be in here, you know, taking several trades a day, getting in on little moves up and down, up and down, up and down, happy to long, happy to short, just looking for those, you know, more micro moves on the smaller term time frame. you know, maybe on a one minute chart, taking those little up and down moves. Or, you know, do you not have that time is a big factor and you're actually more of a swing trader. Maybe you just don't enjoy looking on the lower term time frames. Maybe you'll just have a busy, you know, life, family, friends, kids, all that stuff, or, or you hold down a, you know, a really high demanding job. Uh, maybe, you know, you're working, you know, you've got your main focus on a, on a, on a, 
what could be classed as a side hustle until you become a good trader, but you're working on something else at the moment and that requires a lot of time. And thus you can't really be that, that scope trader and you gotta be more of a swing trader. So this is a personal decision that you can come to, but it's very important to know what style of trader you are, okay? Understand and trade to your benefits, okay? So if you are holding a nine to five job where you can't be looking at the charts for the most of the majority of the day, it doesn't really make sense to be then trying to come in and, and you know, it just generally speaking speaking, that would start fit more to the style of the swing trader. Again, you can kind of craft whatever you want. It's just important to understand at your heart what style of trader are you right now and what would you like to be in the future, right? Because that you can use different techniques. You know, myself as a swing trader at the moment, you're not going to see me analyzing the same, for example, as Rivalry, who is very much a small, lower-term time frame scope trader. So understanding those styles um, you know, we are going to have different styles, which is absolutely fine. And <laughs> that's the benefit, right? You can learn from other coaches inside of the group and understand from the lower term timeframes up to myself on the higher term timeframes. We've got the best of both worlds, so to speak. Uh, but yeah, looking here on the higher term timeframe, uh, really simply, we can paint this picture together where we've got that range high that was put in, of course, around the middle of August, and then the range low which was put in around the middle of November. So, you know, several months now, we've just been simply range bound. And this high that was currently put in, I'm going to blow your mind a little bit here, uh, but the high currently that was put in on the 21st of February. And you know, I pride myself on my analysis, and I'm going to, uh, you know, with a lot of pride, show you something here, and that is uh, this particular uh, Fibonacci time board. You can see this 1618 actually came in on the 21st of February. And I know you might say, well, uh, thank you, Daniel, for showing us this in March. Uh, but what I actually want to show you is me calling this inside the group before it happens one month in advance. Uh, so yeah, you have to remember that these YouTube videos are showing stuff that has happened. But if you want that information first, well, this is the beauty of the group, right? That's where you get the, you know, the levels before you're going to get it for free on YouTube. But nevertheless, I'd like to share this with you now just to show you the power of uh, Fibonacci time. So please just take a, you know, it's 10 second clip, but just listen to how I worked out where that high would be put in. 1618, 21st of February. So we had the 23rd and now we have the 21st. So around the, yeah, that 20th of February date. So to be precise, that level was the 21st of February. We had a little bit of a zone, but the actual 1618 itself was the 21st of February. You can see working out this still in, um, still in January at the time. Yeah, in the January on the Champions Livestream 190. Basically had this Elliott Wave count, marking it along with Fibonacci time, where at the time I was still remaining bullish, was still looking for higher prices. And I really, really wanted to see that level come up and taken above the high. And my prime time for that high to be put in was the 21st of February. Well, reminding you, a little bit closer to the time, this was then on the 19th of February, we were still looking for another move to the upside here. We had the alert set at 25,300. And at this moment in time, we were looking at the swing failure pattern of the swing failure pattern as a real simple short trade setup. And what happened on the 21st of February, my friends? Oh well, yes, you know it. On the 21st of February, that alert was triggered that we had set a few days in advance. We had the alert go off 8.30. You know, the exact minute I'm updating my team of the swing failure pattern. That's the short trade setup that myself and others are taking. We now want to see those lower prices as predicted. And we were gifted, you know, still 8.30 in the morning on the 21st of February, talking about this is one of the easiest shorts of the past month. You know, this is a real golden opportunity that we've got here to short the top of the range, 25,300. The setup itself was very valid off of a swing fire pattern. Not only that, we also had the beauty of the 21st of February being the high. Once again, Fibonacci time giving me the 21st of February for the day that that high will be put in one month in advance. One month later, what happened? The high of the range was put in off of a swing failure pattern, off of the level we were waiting for on the 21st of February. Ladies and gentlemen, I know, <laughs> I know I could, uh, that for me is just, that makes me happy. I don't want you to take the wrong way and think, Daniel, you just love to brag. I just love to show you the power of technical analysis. For me, that's just like, if that doesn't blow your mind, then uh, you're in the wrong space. Because if you're a trader, if you love the analysis as I do, that for me is just 
perfection. To have that level marked out of Fibonacci time based off of my Elliott wave count for the high to be put in on the 21st of February, to then get that on the 21st of February swing fair pattern at 8.30 a.m. as we start the London Open. It's just, this is just absolute trading perfection. Swing failure pattern, no hesitation, understanding that, taking that short trade, full transparency, this is the short trade that we are after. Confirming the level within a minute, within a minute of that happening, the alert going off to posting in the group, it's the swing failure pattern, to then wanting to see a drop and then look how that has, has played out. We've had a lovely drop to the downside. And for me, that just makes me, as a trader, just very, very happy, proud, and just oh, just showing you, like, you put in the hard work and you can find levels and, and you know, <laughs> technical analysis such as this that just gives you such an edge. The majority of people don't understand Elliott Waves. They don't understand Fibonacci time, so they just never are going to get that level. I got it, I shared it, and, well, it gave us the exact higher to move. So, uh, yeah, that's enough of me talking about that, right? Uh, but obviously on the higher term time frame, that has been our, our current high, made me very happy indeed. But um, yeah, moving on, we now simply are, it's like I was talking about in my Champions live stream last night, our higher term time frame bias is still formed off of these lower term time frame levels. So ultimately, we still have that mini range to be trading, which again, for the scope or day traders, absolutely brilliant, very, very well respected levels that you can be trading and taking advantage of. More of the swing trader myself, I'm going to be waiting for those bigger levels to come into play. Okay, of course, if we break up out of that channel, and we do get this short squeeze and bar pattern straight back up, and then we blast through resistances, where well, it could be a case of, you know, that was the high of the 21st of February. If we do, though, start reclaiming that resistance and breaking up through levels, well, I'm not going to say it's impossible to, you know, hit $30,000, for example. I understand that. I understand level-to-level -level trading. If we break one, we look for the next. So, of course, we could break up higher, but for me, this higher term time frame macro picture is decided off of the lower term time frames. So if you want to be dictating that, then well, you you, you know, you're, you're a lower term time frame trader. For myself personally, I'm happy to take these scope day trades, but I'm still waiting for the higher levels of confluence currently. Based off of the context, I'm not really that interested in trading this lower term time frame range. This for me is not offering like amazing trades. The VWAP, yes, this first touch, an amazing trade, I must admit. But apart from that, yeah, now after this, I'm, I'm not that interested in, in this lower term time frame range. Unless we move to the outer boundaries, then yes. But uh, for, for now, where we are here, I will remain patient. I just want to say something, ladies and gentlemen, uh, <laughs> watching this, and that is, if you want to uh, watch that Champions live stream last night, go go and do it. But the bigger announcement is, of course, that the Elliott Waves modules, and yes, I know people have been waiting years for this, uh, but the Elliott Wave modules are, are live on the website. We have uh, that coming out today. So if you want to learn Elliott Waves, uh, then, well, right now on the website, we've got the first three lessons. Today, we decided to release three. So you have three lessons of the Elliott Wave series, you know, this is going to be covering my style. We're starting off on the more basics. So if you have no, uh, no understanding of Elliott Waves at all, you know, we're going to, of course, start from the basics and then work our way through this series where you're going to understand my style of trading, how I use Elliott Waves, how I'm combining that with Fibonacci. And of course, you're going to learn about Fibonacci time with Elliott Waves, which I think is undeniable, the usefulness of that, right? One month in advance, calling the exact high of this move. I mean, in the exact day that it was going to happen. One month in advance, telling you 21st of February, the high, and then one month later, we'll have a guess, 21st of February, giving the high. So if you want to learn my style of Elliott Waves, unique to myself, you're not going to see that anywhere else. Want to understand all that, that's live now on the website chartchampions.com. Elliott Wave modules, here we go. Uh, and on top of that, on top of that, you have Elliott Waves today, and I'm also going to be releasing my brand new templates today. So, I mean, this is what I mean, a special day indeed. You've got brand new templates, work from the ground up, easily spent 60, 70 hours on these. Uh, I'm going to be releasing that today. Start of the Elliott Wave series is out today for the contenders and the champions. And I think overall, it's just like really nice. We're, you know, move past all the drama. We're just focused on the charts, focused on the trades, focused on our service to you at the end of the day to really benefit you and make you into a better trader. That's what we're here for. That's what we want. And, uh, you know, that is what we are doing. We can see from the results ourselves. So, yeah, for me, it's just a very proud and happy and positive moment. Uh, really happy. And I hope you are too. I, I truly hope that I've shared with you some, you know, insights, knowledge, 
giving you some explanations and really just passing all my positive energy. Uh, and you can really use this and benefit yourself for the way, week ahead of trading, right? That would be my goal and I really hope I've met it. Uh, if you wanna see more live in the time updates from myself and the rest of the coaches who truly are next level, you know, they really are making money trading. So it's not just commentating on price action, but they, you know, we're actually in here taking trades, making money off those trades. So, you know, I'm really happy and proud to be working alongside them. If you want that kind of insights in the time, well, you know where to get it. Chartchampions.com. That's where you get the Discord updates. That's where you get the whole community feel. And that's where you're going to be understanding Elliott Waves live now on the website. The first three videos of the series, as well as the new templates I'll be uploading today as well. What a day. What a start of the week. Let's mean as we go to go on. CC Pool, I love you all. Cheers, everybody. Thank you and goodbye.